Welcome to the UAB School of Medicine's I2B2 video series. This video will provide an overview of the data that are included in the I2B2 system. I2B2 contains three big sets of data. One data set is called Patient Details, which contains patient demographic and other data that remain relatively constant across patient visits. Another set is called visit details. The third set contains the clinical details of the encounter. We will explain what is contained in each of these data sets. Patient details includes demographic data such as age, gender, race, ethnicity, etc. These data don't change every time a patient comes to UAB for a medical visit. By clicking on the plus signs, you can see the specific search criteria under each of the patient details. The Visit Details folder includes specific information about the particular visit, including encounter date, type of encounter, location of encounter, etc. UAB creates a new encounter record every time a patient comes to UAB for a medical visit. You can find the search criteria for encounters in the Visit Details folder. All the other folders include the encounter facts. Almost every medical fact about a patient is recorded in the context of some kind of encounter. When a patient comes to UAB for a medical encounter, every medication prescribed or renewed, every diagnosis, every procedure, vital sign, lab result, etc. can become a fact in I2B2. Every folder you see in the I2B2 hierarchy, except for patient details and visit details, represents a particular group of encounter facts. Some type of facts simply indicate the patient has a condition or had something done for them. For example, immunizations in I2B2 simply represent that the patient was given a particular immunization during a particular visit. So, for instance, you can build a query to count the number of patients given flu shots at UAB. Lab results will often be one fact that contains the results of lab tests, positive or negative, a specific value, or an indicator like normal. Many medical events, such as vital signs, have one or more numeric or text results or readings. In I2B2, blood pressure readings consist of two numeric facts, the systolic numeric fact and the diastolic numeric fact. You can build a query using one or both of those numbers. Let's go back to lab results. With these more complex facts, you can build a query that asks how many patients were given a specific lab test by finding the lab test and dragging it into the query tool pane. For instance, we can ask how many patients had a hemoglobin A1C done, but you can also ask how many patients had a hemoglobin A1C above 7%. In other words, you can ask I2B2 how many patients have a specific fact or how many patients have had that fact and a specific result. When you build a query in I2B2, the result of the query is always going to be the count of distinct patients matching all your search criteria. It's not possible in I2B2 to ask how many times did we run lab text X during last year because I2B2 does not count specific events, it counts patients. This concludes the overview of the data in the I2B2 system. Thank you for reviewing and using this resource, and look for additional help videos at the web address on the screen.